Um, so quarantine for me, quarantine was crazy. I mean, obviously it, it affected everybody differently. Um, but to speak on how, um, how exciting it was as an artist though, to really be reassured on what our purpose is in the culture, you know, as musicians, we always, we always know that people, they fuck with the music. They like the music. You know, you can change people's lives with your music. Like, you know, you have fans and there's not, there's no better feeling than when the fans hit you up and. They're telling you these stories. I've had so many great stories, even with just my small career, of just people, how their lives were changed based off of certain lyrics and things of that sort. And as artists, we've, we've always known that, but quarantine, I feel like was a game changer. Like it really, really showed us how important we are because like, you know, like you said, um, and like I've heard many times, like music is all we have. I mean, certain people, you know, don't always have an opportunity to sit down and watch a three hour movie or two hour movie or whatever. But it's like you're locked inside, even if you got to work from home or no matter what you're doing, you're dealing with medical issues, no matter what, you can always kind of sneak away and listen to some music or have your headphones in. And I just feel like even with what's been going on with the protest, I feel like music has been the backbone of 2020. You know, it's really been like the it's been the tent pole of what it's been keeping the house even standing, you know, which which I feel like is an honor and a privilege to be an artist during these times. And um, I mean, for me, quarantine, it really took me by surprise, but I can honestly say I wasn't too affected by it just because I do have, I'm blessed enough to be able to make music full time. Um, and so I'm usually at my house working on stuff. This is like my little home studio. Um, I'm usually at home tinkering around with stuff, playing guitar, or I'm at the studio with my producer Hannibal. Um, and we kind of did, I kind of live a quarantine life anyway, you know, like besides maybe going to the club or blah, 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 but that stuff's not really important to me. So when I had to shed the club life and, you know, shed the party scene a little bit, I, that was, you know, no skin off my back. So to be honest, nothing really changed much. I mean, couldn't really collab as much. I mean, I was more heartbroken about not being able to do performances. I feel like I had just signed my record deal in 2019 and I just started to get some music out. Um, and I, you know, I'm a performer. My favorite thing is to be on stage. I want to connect with the fans face to face. I want to see them. I want to meet them. I want to be there, feel their energy. And um, to have to put out your first major project and be so excited about it, but then be quarantined and not be able to go anywhere. I would perform for some onion rings in front of seven people at this point. You know, it's like, that was what I think selfishly got me. You know, that was my little poo poo party is that I couldn't go out and um, go out and perform. But uh, that's slowly coming back around. But my family was definitely affected by it more. You know, my dad, he works in a factory. He's a humble guy down there in Michigan, out there in Detroit. And, uh, you know, he got laid off. Thank God he's back. And my brother, he's a hardworking mofo down in San Diego. And he had to get clipped for a minute. And they brought him back because he's a top earner over there. So God bless, he's back. But, you know, my mom, she's her school teaching, she didn't really get hit too hard. But there were some scares there. So I would say, you know, I was more fearful for my family. You know, and my, having older parents and, you know, my grandmother, more like their health and stuff. I was never too worried about my health or my situation, you know. I can say shame on me for one little thing. I, I did feel like at times, like, why do I got to be quarantined? Why do I got to be inside? I know I can handle coronavirus. I can handle, I, maybe I've had it, maybe I didn't have it, you know, whatever. Like, I can handle, my body, I never get sick, knock on wood, blah, 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 you know. But then I had to realize, like, this isn't about you. Your body might be able to take it and fight it, but your ass could take it and carry it to somebody who can't fight it. And then therefore, you know, that's where you, I had to humble myself and be like, keep your ass inside, no matter how good you feel, no matter how strong you think you are, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about, because there are other people that might be just trying to go get groceries and your infected ass, you know, carries the you know virus over to them and they can't fight it like you can. And then, you know, you might get somebody clipped over your dumb ass decision. So that, I feel like, it took me about a week or two, you know, about a week or so to like really, really get that in my head. But then I was like, bro, this is this is very, very, very serious. And my dad, he's a cancer survivor. God bless his soul. And God bless anybody dealing with that bullshit. But, you know, he's so his his, his immune system has been under fire. And so, like, I think about him and, you know, my roommate, his dad is he's got some some issues that he's been dealing with. And so we kind of had to put ourselves in that situation and be like, we're looking out for them. You know, I can take on anything. I'll take on the world, put the world on my back. But that's, the, you know, that's not everybody else. So it's been wild, man. But I'm excited that we're we're slowly getting the hang of it. You know, I feel like people are taking, you know, respecting it a little bit. I mean, that, it's all over the board, though. Some people aren't respecting. I mean, it's America, man. You're always going to 
no one's ever going to be doing it. It's going to always be all over the place. 